Thank you, Mr. President, for joining us here at the Defense Media Activity. It is very exciting for us to have you here for a face-to-face uh, -face conversation with U.S. service members. We're very, very pleased to have you. Well, uh, Nathan, thank you so much for uh, your participation. I want to thank uh, everybody who's here uh, in Fort Meade. There are a couple of people I want to acknowledge. Uh, first of all, uh, your garrison commander, uh, Colonel Brian Foley. Where is he? I just rode over with him. There he is. The, uh, he's in charge of a lot of stuff. I was uh, he, uh, with, with everything that's going on uh, out of this uh, incredible facility. President Obama, a recent visitor to Fort Meade with some nice words for the garrison. The president was here to answer questions in a live troop talk format from the defense media activity. More of the troop talk is available on the defense.gov website. Meanwhile, on this edition of Meade Week, it's Hispanic Heritage Month. Transitioning service members get suited up. And some news from the Army's substance abuse program. These stories and more, but first, since 2011, across the country, the Home Depot, along with hosts of volunteers, have transformed more than 12,000 homes for veterans. One of those is Annapolis resident Army Staff Sergeant Jeremy Todd, who was wounded in Baghdad in 2008. Todd, a military journalist, came to Fort Meade and worked at the Defense Information School before being medically retired in 2012. At that point, he became a member of Fort Meade's Warrior Transition Unit. They took care of me for a year. I mean, the best coverage I've ever received. It was on-the-job training. Um, they taught me about how to get involved with my community and helping out there. I worked for about three different uh, VSOs, which are veteran service organizations. And uh, one of those veteran service organizations actually received a call from Home Depot, and they said, hey, do you uh, know a wounded warrior that might need some work on his house? And he's like, I'm sitting next to one right now. And from there, they were, uh, Home Depot was out here a couple days later, checking the place out and said, oh yeah, this place needs some work. That initial Home Depot visit came about a year ago. Home Depot is a big sponsor of ensuring that all veterans uh, get housing, uh, that certainly that we do everything, anything we can to improve housing. Uh, they've committed, you know, initially it started with a $50 million grant that they committed over the next five years. It's actually grown to almost $100 million, so obviously very important to us to honor veterans. The Home Depot had several partners in the project, including Truckin' for Troops. Truckin' for Troops was the nonprofit that Home Depot worked through. So in order to get the gift cards and stuff like that, we were the nonprofit that they were able to, to go through. We're a local nonprofit, so that's what they were looking for. Last Thursday, the final phase started with the landscaping and basement work. All told, Jeremy estimates that more than $70,000 of home improvements were donated. This whole process is, it's, it's just amazing. There's only one word I can say, it's amazing. I mean, you have regular civilians volunteering their time, dedicating their time for veterans. And it's like all veterans want to do is be one of you guys. However, we get the recognition for being veterans. We're so thankful. All we want to do is help people and these guys are just helping us. I mean, it's all about paying it forward, paying it back, and making the world a better place. In a related story, the Fort Meade Transition Assistance Program recently hosted a visit from Suiting Warriors, an organization that tailors donated business attire for service members looking to start their civilian careers. We provide um, new suits or gently worn suits for veterans. Everything is dry cleaned. Um, they're hung on racks in size order. We have them both for men and women. And um, they're, they're on first come first serve basis. So um, depending on what order in line that you arrived or signed up for the event is really how we give away the suits just to be fair. Um, but if there happens to be any reason that we don't have a suit size at an event. We try to piggyback with another event in that specific city or area so that the veterans that are hearing about us the day after or two days following can use our services within that period of time. For more information on the Suiting Warriors schedule or if you'd like to donate, go to www.suitingwarriors.org. Elsewhere, this Saturday, September 26, the Fort Meade Substance Abuse Program is holding a prescription medication turn-in day. Drop-off sites will be at the main exchange and the commissary. You're encouraged to drop off your unwanted, expired, or unused medications. You can leave the medication in their original containers, but you should remove any identifying labels. If you have any questions, you can call the ASAP office at 301-677-7983. In other news, the Fort Meade Equal Employment Opportunity Office and U.S. Army Cyber Command are hosting this year's National Hispanic Heritage Month observance. It's coming up this Thursday, September 24th from 1130 to 1 at the McGill Training Center. The highlight of the event is a performance by Furia Flamenca of Washington, D.C. You can also enjoy a cultural fair of arts and crafts and food sampling. And that's it for this edition. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great Meade week.